All right, ready to dive into some serious AI? Let's do it. Today, we're talking DeepSeek VL2. It might sound like we're heading into sci-fi territory. Oh, a little bit. But I assure you, this is real deal AI. Very real. And it's going to change how we think about what AI can actually do. Absolutely. We're talking about AI that can work with images and text and not just process them. Right. But understand them together. Yeah, this is different. And do some seriously mind-blowing things. It's pretty amazing what we've accomplished. So we're taking a deep dive into the technical report on DeepSeek Cache VL2, straight from the source. The minds behind it all. So what are we hoping to get out of this deep dive today? Well, we really want to break down how DeepSeek VL2 is so different. What makes it so groundbreaking? Yeah, because it really pushes the boundaries. I'm not exaggerating. It really does. We're going to uncover how it works, what it can do, and maybe even ponder some of those bigger questions about the future. Right, like where this is all heading. Okay, first things first. We've all heard about these large language models, the LLMs. But what about large vision language models, or VLMs? Right. What are they, and why should we even care? Well, imagine an AI that can read War and Peace and at the same time, analyze a Renaissance painting. Whoa, hold on. And then connect the two. Okay, now that... Oh, hey there, what's up? Okay, that's a great idea. Yeah, let's focus on the key takeaways. So, what makes DeepSeek VL2 stand out? Well, it really pushes the boundaries of what VLMs can do. Right, it's not just processing images and text separately. It's about understanding them together. It combines language processing and visual understanding. Exactly. It's a big step up. Okay, so how does it do this? It uses a mixture of experts architecture, or MO. Okay, MOE. It's like having specialized AI agents all working together. Kind of like a brain trust. Exactly, to tackle complex tasks. And how do they process images? With something called dynamic tiling. Dynamic tiling. Yeah, it allows it to handle images of any size. So it can zoom into the smallest details. You got it. And what about the language side? They use DeepSeek language models powered by MLA. MLA. Multi-head latent attention. Okay, so this is how it processes information. Yeah, it's like a super efficient librarian. So it can handle the complex language and visual details? Yes, and super quickly. Okay, this is where data comes in, right? Absolutely. It was trained on a massive data set. So what kind of data are we talking about? Images, text, code, web page mints, even data visualizations. Wow, that's a lot of info to process. It really is. How do they train an AI like that? It's a multi-stage process. It starts with VL alignment. VL alignment. Yeah, they teach the visual and language sides to work together. Making a bridge between the two. Exactly. Then what's the next step? VL pre-training, where it's exposed to all the massive data sets. Like an AI boot camp. Yep, learning to make sense of the world. And finally. Supervised fine-tuning to can focus it on specific tasks. Refining its skills. Exactly. Okay, what can DeepSeek VL2 actually do? It's great at visual question answering. So it can answer complex questions. Yes, it can recognize landmarks and even understand the emotional tone. Emotional tone, that's impressive. It can understand the mood, the atmosphere of a scene. What about memes? Yeah, it can analyze memes and explain the humor. No way. <laughs> Seriously, even the cultural references. Okay, that's pretty advanced. It gets better. How so? It can do multi-image conversation. Analyzing multiple images at once. Yes, making connections between them. And visual storytelling. Yeah, creating stories from a sequence of images. An AI Spielberg. Yeah, something like that. Okay, I'm impressed. And it can also do visual grounding. Right, locating objects in images based on text. It's like having an AI detective. What about in-context scenarios? It can recognize patterns and apply that knowledge. Even to new situations? Yeah. That's really powerful. And there's grounded conversation. Okay. You can have a discussion about an image with the AI. And it actually understands what we are talking about. Yes, it's really intuitive. So it's like having a conversation with someone who can see what we see. Exactly. That's the goal. This is more than just processing. Yeah, it's more like actual understanding. So what does it all mean? We're entering a new era in AI where they can truly see and understand. And this is just the beginning, right? Yeah, the possibilities are pretty endless. Okay, so what are the next steps? They want to make the AI more robust. What do you mean by that? Handle blurry images and unseen objects better. Okay, makes sense. They're also expanding the context window to handle more images. So the AI has a bigger visual memory. Yeah, and they want to improve reasoning capabilities. Reasoning. Yeah, for the AI to understand the why, not just the what. That's the real game changer. It really is. Okay, so if we wrap up, any final thoughts? It is very important to have these conversations now about how we develop responsibly. Absolutely. It's been amazing exploring all of this with you. Likewise. To everyone listening, thanks for joining us for the deep dive. We'll catch you next time as we keep exploring the incredible world of AI.